fit that, never gotta sweat that. You can 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 fit that, never gotta sweat that. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. First of all, I want to start off this video by saying thank you so much for all the support I received on my brand new series, Small Talk Saturdays. I premiered my first episode on Saturday, hey, what's today's day? I premiered my very first episode May 23rd and I've been receiving awesome feedback and I just really, really appreciate y'all rocking with me. And in case you missed it, here's a recap. Hey YouTube fam, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I have my computer here and all my questions. How did you and your GF meet? What is your hair care like underneath? the wigs. My hair dry is a freaking forest fire. Have you always been open about your sexuality preference? Ooh, good question. I do have a girlfriend. Why are your birthday parties so lit? <laughs> what is one thing you regret? The only thing I regret with YouTube is not starting sooner. Just to remind you, Small Talk Saturdays will be a series where I focus on things outside of hair. For the month of June, I'll be focusing on YouTube-related subjects, such as how to start a YouTube channel, mistakes I've made as a YouTuber, and a few more topics. So if you are down for that, drop me some comments down below and let me know how you feel. Because I really like the idea of having a series on my channel. A lot of you adore Twenty Dollar Tuesdays. That's been very successful for me. And I've been sitting on this idea for a very long time, so I'm just glad I I just got out there and rolled it out and I'm happy to receive the positive feedback. All right, welcome to Tiny Dollar Tuesdays. Tiny Dollar Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs for the $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. Today we have a wig by the Vanessa brand and her name is Kelly. Hey Kelly girl. So this is the little card that I received. It's a super seaside part wig. So that means the part is a curved part. And I did notice that this part is on the right side. It is a lace part wig, meaning that there is no lace to cut out the pack. You just take it out and you know, you plop it on. But of course, we're not gonna just plop it on. I decided that for this video, I'm gonna show you how I put on this wig in real time. I did this before with my review of the wig, Calista by May Beauty, and you guys really liked seeing me do it in real time. So I'm gonna do this with this wig because it's pretty easy and, you know, I just wanna show you guys something that can be beginner friendly. This wig does come with two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, and an adjustable strap. You see the parting here, this is what it looks like. It's definitely a little bit thick. You see that there's like no pre-pluck lace or anything because this is an older wig and they weren't doing that back then. She's cute, y'all. I got her in this C3000 color because I was just curious what the hell that meant, 3000. And it looks like it's just like a 27-ish color on top with some four 30s blended in and a number two and one B towards the bottom. You see that? So if you're interested in seeing me style this unit in real time, keep on watching. All right, so I'm putting this on my head and right away I noticed that it's pretty big head friendly and my braids are old right now too, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I'm feeling this little flip action here, these bangs. Automatically, when I put this on, I'm noticing the, the hump action as well. You know, I just want people to keep these things in mind when they're putting on their wigs, especially with synthetic wigs. Like, you cannot just walk out the house. Don't do this, y'all. I see people do this, and it's just like, come on. This could look so cute, but you didn't do anything to it. I can't even, I barely can see the part. You know what I mean? First thing I do, I look at the wig, and I'm just like, all right. There's potential here, she is cute. I'm trying to pull this down a little bit. And now I I need to work on this area here, but I'm gonna use my blow dryer to flatten down the top. I have a 
braid right here that has grown out so it's a little puffy but this is like a more voluminous look so i don't mind that too much all right she's cute y'all i'm gonna make this super easy you guys i'm not gonna do all extra i'm not even gonna cut a v in the lace because i just want to make this really easy so i am gonna try to like designate a little part over here where it's curved but i think i'm gonna just you see how thick my hair is underneath here oh my god but i'm just gonna try to move this apart with some gel just to kind of clear a pathway and yeah All right, this part is thick, but I'm I'm not gonna plug it. I'm gonna just try with using my just my powder. So here I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 360. A lot of you all ask me about my powder, and I do have everything linked in my description box. All of my Amazon affiliate links to all of my favorite products that I use very regularly. Check it out, and you can find it there. So I am using this angled brush. And this is actually from BH Cosmetics. I really like their brushes because they're super affordable. And I'm just gonna just apply the powder right here just to open it up. Can you see how the powder opened that up so nicely without me having to pluck it? This is like just random hair that's in the way. Y'all, you guys, that's it. I mean, that's how I put on the wig. Like that was super, super easy and super fast. Now I'm sure you also noticed that I put on some earrings because I think this wig looks very like sophisticated and mature but i added the earrings to add a more youthful look and i think hoop earrings are just perfect for that and i'm just putting a little droplet of the got to be glue because i noticed it slipping back a little bit i do this sometimes and i'm just gonna let it get tacky so yeah that was pretty much it so let's get into my thoughts on this wig starting with the pros first part of the pack is the style and the texture i love the way it feels it feels like 4B4C hair that is blown out and pressed. I love the style because these flips are just everything. I like the layers. I think layers just look so good on short hair. I just love the way they did this. This is so cute. I also do like the color, surprisingly. Out the pack, I wasn't feeling it, but now that it's on me, I like it. I think the whole two-tone thing, although it's not normally my thing, I think it's pretty cute and I, I can see a lot of you all on this i also think it's great if you want to experiment with color but you don't want to do anything too outlandish you know you're not trying to go platinum like i do but you still want to experiment with the blonde of some sort i think this honey blonde is a good thing to try especially for those who are more melanated like myself another pro for me is the parting even though it's a lace part wig i feel like you know it's laying pretty flat you see it's getting tacky there so i just press it down as it's getting tacky so it could blend a little bit better and you see i didn't i didn't cut a v this time i also like that it's a curved part because i think the curved part thing makes it look a little bit more natural so i do like that i'm looking here at this and as it gets tacky i want to add a little more powder y'all i'm so particular about parting space it's a little ridiculous but i mean you know we're not trying to be too clockable out here I just pluck that out. Boop. I also like the density. I think it's perfect density, especially because it's getting hot outside and a lot of you don't like a lot of hair on your necks and on your shoulders. So this is perfect for that. Look at that body. Yes. 
I also like the cap, you guys. It's big head friendly. So if you have a larger head, I, I think you're good to go with this cap. Now, of course, huge pro is the price. It is $20 Tuesday, and this retails for $22.99 on shop hair wigs. But I will leave a general Google link down below for you to choose where you want to purchase it from. Either way, it's going to be under $25, and I think this is definitely a great buy. Super easy and beginner friendly for the price. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I mean, who's on the website? Let me know, drop a comment down below. Now as far as cons, I would say, you know, just be mindful that this is a lace part and there's no pre-plugged hairline. Also the coloring here is definitely not dark rooted all throughout. Keep that in mind as well. And I am receiving shedding. I don't usually receive shedding on short units like this, so I was a little surprised by that. So just be mindful. I also am not a huge fan of these bump ends. Like I still think it's cute, but part of me wants to play around with it a little bit more. So I'll probably do that off camera. I just want to make this video as easy and beginner friendly as possible because I want you guys to slay on a budget and easily when you have your little Zoom conference meetings or when you decide to go to the grocery store and you're just throwing something on really quick. Like I. That's why I want this wig to be for you. So I didn't want to do the most. Please drop comments down below and let me know what you think about this unit. I think she's very cute and worth the buy. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let's have some discussion down below. I also just realized like right now, this is episode 30 of Twenty Hour Tuesday. What? 30 episodes in, yes! I guess it's time to celebrate. I need to pop champagne or something. That's what people do. Also, if you're watching this video right now, also if you're watching this video right now, I am gonna go live on Twenty Dollar Tuesday. I'm going live. So if you can be there, come join me so I can finish answering some questions for my Q and A, and you know, ask you guys questions, and we can just continue to get to know each other. If you're new here, of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure you don't miss anything coming up because we have loads of good things coming in June. Y'all already know about Small Talk Saturdays and what I'm trying to do with the YouTube content I'm putting out because a lot of people want to know how to start a channel and just what I've done to garner some success on my channel. And of course, if you want to see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday and I will see you next time. Bye.